it's summer once again. Kids are out of school, everyone going on holiday or staying inside cause it's 40 goddamn degrees. And we get to enjoy some more seasonal anime. I'm going to be honest. So far this year there haven't been a lot of new anime that I enjoyed. I mean my dress up darling was amazing. Spy Family is one of the best anime I've seen in a while. Even Summertime Render and Awash is a lot of fun to watch. But... That's it. However, this season, I just can't get over the fact that how many new anime there are that I know for a fact I'm actually going to enjoy. Some for the absolute beauty it presents, some for its action, some for its humor, and yeah, there are also other things I like. There is no better way to start out an anime than showing girls killing with happy music in the background. Lycoris Recoil is a surprisingly enjoyable anime from this season, starting out with all these girls in this secret anti-terrorist organization, in the middle of a mission, insane action scenes and gunshots and explosions and silenced pistols. Anya would be proud. Setting up all this cool stuff just to be like, yeah, this is not what the anime is about. We have these two girls that both got basically kicked out of their secret agent job after not doing what the organization wanted, and now they are both working at a coffee shop with other ex agents. One of our main girls is Chisato, this really energetic girl that always smiles, always happy. She's just someone that really enjoys her job and making others' day better. And Takina, who is the exact one on one copy of Chitanda, but the exact opposite of her. She is really serious, formal, doesn't show any emotions. It's a really weird dynamic, but it works so well. A small detail that I really liked was that while the two girls are completely different, the same thing between them is that they disagree with the organization. Chisato clearly got kicked out because she doesn't want to kill others and use non lethal methods while Takina felt like they are risking the life of another agent. This anime is filled with action, it's cute, it's energetic, the production is top quality. It can end up being one of the better anime from this season. Have you ever wondered what Naofumi's life would be if he never got Isekai? This anime looks really good, like really really good. It's by the same studio as the last one, but I genuinely have no idea what I watched. There's this guy that has no money, lazy, pretty much useless, but these girls basically do everything for him, cook for him, pay for his stuff. He's some demon executor type guy and these girls power up by kissing him. It's stupid, but it looks really good. This is his girlfriend, this is his ex, there is another girl in his bed, I don't know who that is. It's so far really confusing and it's just so bad that it's actually good. It's clearly just a waifu bait that's made for horny teenagers. So anyway, can't wait for the next episode. Now this one is a cute one. This anime is exactly what would you expect from it. A lot of cute, wholesome stuff, father-daughter relationship type anime. But there is just something to it that makes me want to watch more and more of it. It start out as sweet as it could get, just to hit you in the face with some of the most emotion-filled scenes. Don't expect anything big from it, it doesn't really have anything special that would stand out. But what it tries to present does it really well. And if you want to chill, want to watch something without having to think too much, I definitely recommend this anime. There are two major, huge, humongous things that I like about this anime, her personality and her massive intelligence and her boingy kind and boingy boing boings. Okay, maybe there are three things. Who knows what else her magic can hide if you know what I mean. In all honesty, this anime is boring as fuck. It's as generic as it could get, filled with characters that are less interesting than a stick. There are two enormous things that you will like about it, but that's about it. More. More. Every single season there is that one typical romance anime that kinda goes like Oh big dick, what do you mean I like you? I don't like you, I actually hate you. Now let's go home together. There is at least one of them every single season since the harem era died out. But I'm just a sucker for these type of shows. There is nothing special in them. It's the same fucking story for every single one of them. But I just really enjoy watching them. We have Ayumu, this flat-faced guy that tries to make a move and he kinda does it but... 
You are cute. Do you have a crush on me? No. So anime, nice feet. Ooh, finally another new anime. Yeah, I don't think I want to talk about this one. My stepmom's daughter is my ex. Hmm, quite an interesting title. Surely this is just a completely normal, family-friendly Christian any- Oh god damn it! Honestly, it's much better than what I expected. It's exactly what would you expect from a title like this. But at the least it's done well, I guess? You get this typical, oh this is my ex, I hate him, I hate her, okay maybe I still have feelings, okay that's a lie, I actually hate him. But at the least it's not that cringe. It's kind of entertaining. But to be honest, this is usually where I draw the line. I had quite a lot of traumatic experiences from sibling type animes that I will never forget and just do whatever you want with that information. No, 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 not yet. Because it's I I I Isekai time. In this Isekai, our main character is a summoner that fights by summoning slimes. In this Isekai, our main character is a summoner that fights by summoning slimes. Wait, it's the exact same fucking show. This one is a bit better. We have a world famous medical researcher that worked himself to death and reincarnated into a medieval world as Falma. He soon discovers the terrible state of medicine in this world and uses his mother knowledge to improve healthcare and making it accessible to all. They could have just titled this Isekai to America. Am I right, guys? Now, this is the only one that's worth watching. But this is technically not even an Isekai, it's a reverse Isekai. We have Takafumi's uncle, who fell into a coma, but after 17 years he finally woke up, but kept his powers from this Isekai world. Now you would think that he would use these powers to take over the world or something like that. But no, he uses it to make YouTube videos. There's even an episode where the monetization policy changes and he asks people to subscribe so he can get monetized. It's just way too realistic. So my um, guess is the perfect time to say, please subscribe so I can get monetized, please. And other than just making videos, it's really interesting to see how he experiences all the new things that didn't exist 17 years ago. Like new video games, phones, he even becomes a VTuber at one point. It's just a lot of fun to watch and goddamn it's just so much better than another Isekai. Do you remember her? Well, this is her now. It's quite weird to see that a show like Ruby gets an anime adaptation, but goddamn I'm not disappointed at all. This shit looks amazing. However, a lot of people dislike that the first three episodes just speed ran through the first two volumes. The only good part of the story. So I understand why people dislike that decision, but I honestly don't really care. I'm glad that instead of a complete reboot, we get a new original storyline that hopefully will be much better than whatever the fuck we had. Call of the Night is a fairly popular manga that I enjoyed not solely for its story, but the world building, the experience of the night, the unique stories, and the anime nailed it. It couldn't get any better. The background, the world, the animation, the music is all on point, and it's one of the best adaptations I ever seen. Not to mention that it has the same director as the Monogatari series, and you can instantly notice that. I'm going to be honest, I don't really care about vampires even if I live in Dracula land and I don't even care that much about the story, but it has just so much more to it that makes it worth to watch. Or you can just watch it because there is a cute vampire that wants to suck. 